everyone from IFI Provisions. Thanks for joining us for our very first Facebook Live. Um, today we figured we will entertain you or give you some ideas on how to make confectionery popcorn. Um, with everyone staying at home, um, this is a great snack that you can do um, with your family and make for all those that binge watching um, of shows. Um, I'm currently binge watching Ozark, so let me know, comment below on what you're thinking of uh, season three so far. Um, so today, um, we are making confectionery um, popcorn, like I said, and everything that you see here, you can buy on provisions.com. Um, so what I did was I popped some air popcorn and I used um, half a cup of kernels. Um, I get mine at Trader Joe's, they're organic, all natural, GMO free. And then I used a cup of our white confectionery coating, which is being melted right now as we speak. Um, if you don't know anything about confectionery coating, it's known as a compound coating. Um, so it's just really easy to use, um, really easy to melt, and it's a good substitute for um, chocolate. And um, what it is, it's basically vegetable fat instead of cocoa butter that's found in um, chocolate. Ours is amazing. It's got the same flavor and character similar to couverture. Um, and it's creamy and full bodied and really easy to use temper and um, and it's all natural. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's got, um, it's just like little discs. So right now, um, my colleague is melting it. Um, it takes about 30 seconds in the microwave if you're doing a cup. Um, wait, stir it, and do an extra 30. Um, the other thing I'm gonna be doing is flavoring my compound. Um, you don't have to, some of the ones I'm gonna show you later, I don't flavor the compound, but just for um, a little TV movie magic, I wanted to show you um, how to give it some color and it's just gonna be really uh, beautiful. So, here's my, um, here's my compound, all melted down nice and smooth. As you can see, it's beautiful, it's glossy. And I'm just gonna add some um, flavoring compound. Now, flavoring compound, um, the one that we sell is by Dried Apple. It's a German company. And I'll talk more about dried apple flavor paste and compounds at a later time. It's a whole nother discussion. But I did want to show you how amazing this product is adding it to anything. Um, first of all, it's glucose based um, and it's all natural ingredients. All of our ingredients and all of our, um, our uh, nutritionals are on our website on the product page. You just scroll down and there will be um, a little highlighted area and you can click on it and you can see all the information that you need. Um, if you need a spec sheet, if you want more information, just email us and we'll get it to you. So it comes in a 2.2 pounds, but we also have it in these little six ounce jars for you, perfect for the um, home baker. So before this gets too cool, I'm gonna add just a little bit. Um, I'm using like a teaspoon of flavor paste. Um, and you can add as much as you want. I would start as little as possible because it's super highly concentrated and a little goes a long way. So as you can see, the, the color is beautiful and you can't smell it, but the smell is amazing. It smells like strawberry ice cream. So again, before this starts to seize up on me, I am going to go ahead and pour it over my, my popcorn, which I've laid out on parchment paper here on a baking sheet. Now, you can do this with your families, but I would suggest doing this part yourself as the adult and having the kids do the decoration. Um, the only reason I say that is because it might just get all over the place if you let them go crazy. Um, I would also add more 
And then last, so I would actually maybe do maybe another cup of confectionery coating in here just so it has lots of chocolate and strawberry flavor. Now, you can mix this up so it gets all over or you can just have it drizzled like I do. And then we're gonna do birthday cake popcorn. So I'm gonna take our all natural um, confetti and I'm just gonna sprinkle it. So this is the part that the kids could do. I mean, they can just go crazy. They can sprinkle all over it. They can put as many colors. We have all different kinds of colors. Everything that's in here, we have separate colors available. Um, but I'm doing the birthday cake, super fun, and just adding a ton. So after you do this part, then all you have to do is wait for the chocolate to harden. And it takes about 15, 20 minutes for that to happen. And then once that happens, um, you can just scoop it up and put it into whatever bowl or container that you're going to enjoy your product out of. Now, I want to show you some ideas that I have for the confectionery coatings. Um, so we did the birthday cake one. So that's this one. Um, except for this one, I just did the plain confectionery coating. I didn't add any flavor to it. Um, and like I said, it's super creamy and buttery and just like white chocolate. So the flavor is so great. Um, so I did the birthday cake. I did another version of birthday cake that you just saw with the strawberry. This one's great. This was strawberry um, popcorn. And I added some of our um, Lucre um, nib clusters. They're cocoa nibs. And they're covered in chocolate. This is sort of a little adult version. You know, another thing you can do is add some shredded coconut on top of this. Super yummy. I mean, honestly, you can add any kind of toppings into these. You can just make it however you want. This is a fun project and it's just, um, you can't go wrong with whatever you do. Um, if you're gonna watch Frozen or Frozen 2 on the Disney Channel, I made this Frozen version. So it's the white chocolate confectionery coating with some of our purple um, confetti. We also have blue confetti and then these white chocolate crisp pearls. Um, and I added that all in here. Another thing you can do is you can add some of our all natural dry colorant to the white confectionery coating and then you can have a drizzle of blue on top to make it even extra frozen. Super cool. Um, and then this one is my favorite. I like to call this the banana split. I flavored up the white chocolate coating with banana flavor paste. I co or flavored up the white chocolate coating with strawberry flavor paste, and then I used our chocolate confectionery coating and did the chocolate. So you can eat it like this, where you eat everything separate, or you can just mix it all together and every bite has a little bit of banana, strawberry, and chocolate in it. So these were my creations. I'd love to hear what your creations are. Um, comment below and let us know what you guys have come up with. And if you have any questions about this video or anything we talked about, please comment below and we will come back to the video and, um, and answer all your questions. Um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to tell you guys about, but um, this is all of our packaging. This is how it all comes. The confetti um, comes in this eight ounce bag and all this stuff is all natural. Um, you know, you guys, I know that they've got those little colored um, wafers at um, the market that you can also use. They're little candy melts. Um, but the thing I don't like about those is they're loaded with artificial colors and preservatives. And this route is super natural. I mean, you're using a natural confectionery coating. You're using natural flavors, natural decorations. Um, so you're just not adding all of those bad colors and um, preservatives that we just don't want our families to eat. Um, and this is just a really beautiful way to have fun and um, enjoy those um, times inside watching all of our favorite shows. Um, so that is it for us today. Again, if you have any questions, please let us know. I'm so sorry about if it's really echoey. 
um, we'll try to do better for our next live. And if there's anything you guys want us to talk about or show you on our next live, again, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much and have a great day.